there's going to be two tracks in the automotive industry in terms of using carbon fiber polymers. An incremental approach and an all-in approach like BMW is doing with the i3 and the i8. You know, whole hog, the whole structure of the car pretty much being from carbon fiber polymers. The incremental approach is going to be used more in high volume production. Uh, cycle times for using carbon fiber polymers is still pretty slow. For Corvettes or Vipers or something like that, that's still kind of mass production, but we're not talking like a Ford F-150 or a Toyota Camry. Uh, BMW, of course, has gone in with the uh, all-in approach because they're electric cars. Again, very low volume, even much lower volume than a Corvette. But what they're able to do too by light weighting the vehicle is use a smaller battery pack. Batteries, as we know, are extremely expensive. And so even though carbon fiber polymer can be a very expensive approach, if BMW is able to take batteries out of the car, battery pack sizes out of the cars, it can actually cut cost faster than the carbon puts it back in. And it represents an all new way of doing a car. No one's ever done this in the kind of volume that BMW is doing. And that gives the car kind of a panache. I mean, people buying it are not just buying it because it's electric. They know that this may represent a total change for the way the, the auto industry is going to go and maybe a harbinger of the future.